Well, Donald Trump's defense team worked hard in court to paint his former lawyer as a liar. Yeah, it is day three of testimony for Michael Cohen in the hush money trial for the former president. Bradley Blackburn gets us up to speed. Former President Trump's defense team attacked Michael Cohen on the stand Thursday, ticking through past crimes and times Trump's one-time lawyer and fixer has admittedly lied under oath. Trump's defense also suggested Cohen was upset he wasn't chosen to serve in Trump's White House and has since made millions by slamming the former president. The jury heard clips of TV interviews where Cohen vowed revenge. Do you think they've done an effective job of undermining Cohen's credibility? The defense has done an effective job of showing that Michael Cohen is a witness who comes with baggage. Cohen testified he lied to protect Trump, as well as his own wife and family. He also told the jury about calling Trump's bodyguard to inform Trump about hush money payments paid to Stormy Daniels. Trump is charged with falsifying business records to cover up the payment and has pleaded not guilty. The former president had a large entourage accompany him to the courthouse Thursday, including 11 congressional allies. We're here of our own volition because there are things we can say that President Trump is unjustly not allowed to say. I think the courtroom has provided an opportunity for Republican officials to audition uh, for either the vice presidency and or a, a position in a future cabinet. It's a bunch of Republican officials trying to prove their loyalty to the former president, which we know is really, really important to him. Cohen is expected to be the prosecution's last witness. Then the defense will have a chance to present its case. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Now, we should point out the trial will be paused tomorrow so former President Trump can attend his son's high school graduation. The judge also announced this case may stretch beyond Memorial Day weekend.